Hey everyone, welcome to another StuckCast and today I'm gonna show you how to build your own Rails search engine. So um, let's start off by showing you the app we're gonna make. So uh, here you can see it's just an app that you can search for books. You have books in a database and you can search for them. Uh, the part, let's say that half of this video is going to be uh, about the simple search or the one that I have here. You, only, you can only search for the, the name. Uh, if you type blank, it, it returns all the values. Uh, and the second part is about the uh, advanced search. Now, this is a more robust search engine uh, because it, it, it's got its own model. So it's um, it, let's say that all these fields here are, are connected, are, are dependent to each other. So as you can see, if I type programming, and I put let's look, let's put nothing. Okay, no records found. But if I type Java. Now I put programming. Here we go. Java, category, programming. Okay, so uh, I think you've, you will find it very useful to implement in your uh, own website. So let's begin with creating a new Rails app. Uh, so in the terminal, type Rails new. Let's call it Bookstore. So bookstore it is appropriate. Okay, created all the files I needed. Now it's running the bundle. Now it's completed. Let's go to our directory, CD Bookstore. Clear the console. Okay, so as we saw in the demo, basically what we need is a, is a table for our books. And, and we as users uh, must be able to perform some operations. So it's uh, the best way to do it is creating a scaffold rails. G scaffold book. This will create a table named books. And uh, we saw that we had the books have names, categories, prices, uh, and the ISBN. Uh, so let's name the first name string, second column category string, the third price is a decimal, and the last one ISP, ISBN uh, integer. Created all the files. See here the migration that will create the table, all the routing, controller, of course, and the views. That's migrated. Okay, table created. Now let's check it out. Now before, let's change actually the, the root route because we didn't define, we haven't defined it yet. So let's Put here the root, goes to books, hash index. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. Localhost 3000. Uh, okay, I have to start it first. And let's check it out. Okay, so I I made a mistake there in the routing. It's books, not book. Let's refresh it. Those fingers there. Here we go. Our listing, our columns. Let's create a new one. So, Java Ninja uh, Programming will be the category. The category. So, um, fifty dollars and one, two, three, four. Created successfully. So uh, another one, uh, jQuery programming as well. Yes, I made it on purpose. I want the same category. Okay, thirty-one, four, five, six, seven. Let's create the last one. So um, firm. I don't know. D firm. It will be business. A uh, hundred dollars, uh, uh, the random number. Okay, so they are created. So let's uh, let's create the, the input field here in the, the actual search form. So let's close this. App, views, books, index. Okay, I'm gonna paste here the form I have. It's a very simple one. You, I'm sure you can follow along. Okay, so it's a form tag. It submits to the books path. So if you if you actually see in, in my terminal rake routes, 
you see it here books it's the book index so the path is books the method is get named search passes the the value for the the parameter search and let's refresh it okay so whatever I type here notice it goes to the URL if I type nothing yeah so it's let's let's put it to work let's actually do something with it so I can actually show the fastest way is put it a condition right here and uh, separated by the comma and here goes the name of the column that you want to compare so name like is the is the column that you want is the name and between the percent signals you put the hash bracket construct and you put the params search in there so you're gonna compare the name with your parameters if you okay let's test it if you put nothing it returns all if you put hello nothing if you put Java it returns the Java so it's working already with one line of code if you put jQuery it returns as well if you put J both okay so it's yeah it is working so th this is we cannot put it here because uh, all the the model logic the database logic should be put put on the model so let's clear the class method called search and pass a search parameter here and then and let's put an if else condition so if um, if search exists so if you type if you actually type something there uh, do something if else do another so in here we want to paste this so we want to if you type something we want to compare it against the name column if if not give me all the records so in uh, actually here is not param search is the search argument uh, up here and in here you put the search and you pass the parameters search okay let's test it it gives nothing okay there's a blank if you put hello it doesn't find anyone if you put jump okay it's working okay, it's already working okay you see this is fine if you want to do simple searches like this one you can go or write with a get method through a through the, the URL it's it's, it's it's perfectly fine but if you want something more complex you should do a, a model based uh, so I'm gonna show you how to do it right now uh, let's create a model just for it um, type rails G model search and in here we want to have keywords so we're gonna search for keywords it's a string we're gonna search for category it's another string min price decimal max price decimal to uh, and an ISBN which is an integer okay let's uh, let's migrate it okay table searches created so now let's generate the controller for the searches searches controller remember uh, plural the model is singular the, the controller is always plural and all right let's create the the, um, the the routing let's put resources searches okay same as books okay so um, let's create the, the the actions that we need let's go to searches controller uh, I'm just gonna paste here some code that I have copied but basically we need three three actions the new create and the show I can see there just the, let me put the space there okay so new create show the new is straightforward actually this line I'm going to comment and I'm going to explain later the create you create and you pass that function over there and this to show it's the same. this is the search parameters where you a uh, private method where you access your attributes and give as an argument to the create function so now let's go here and um, create a link to the um, 
the custom search. Actually, let me put advanced. Make more sense. Advanced search. This will go to the new search path. Sorry for the delay. Okay. Now let's create the actual view. So we need the new.html.erb and we need the show. Let's save it. Show.html.erb. Okay. So I'm going to paste here the uh, form for the new. It's a simple form. As you see, I'm going to put advanced here too. Okay. It's a simple form. But it has all the fields. So it's the keywords, the category is the min price, the ISBN, uh, and this for divs. So this is the select I was talking about. This is the se uh, normal select option, but the values here are set to this variable here, categories. I set it here. What is means? This is it's just going to the table books and retrieving all the, the values from the category, but without duplicating. So that's perfect for what we want. Uh, let's actually create, I'm going to paste here too, the, uh, the method to actually search. So, search books. Uh, I start to assign the books to a book.all, so if you type nothing it will be all. But then I'll go here and I'll go adding conditions. If you have typed something, so let's put it in this way, uh, and, and then return the books, the final. So if you put something there, it will search for that. Well, let me paste it here, so the show. Okay, it's pasted. Let me just add a line there. So if search dot sort search books, and this search books is this method here we created, if it's empty, output no records found. If it's not empty, then for each result, output the name, price, category, and ISBN inside this little div here. Now the records. So now let's try it. Okay, if I typed uh, hello, no records found, so it's working. And if I let me see Java, it retrieves, it returns Java, so it's working. Uh, two programmings. The kinds ruin, ruins the purpose of the, the whole category. Oh, okay, so I made a mistake there. Let me okay correct it. If I go there now, okay, just the only one programming. Let me search. Okay, it returns two results, so it's 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 working. Let's try the ISBN. It, it's working. Yeah. You see, it's. Uh, let me try another one. No, no records found. It's fine. so you see you have a pretty decent search engine I mean uh, also for the, the the price as well so you have a pretty decent uh, rails engine here uh, with a simple form in the in the in the first one in the first page is just a very simple one just searches for the one column but then the adver uh, advanced search which uh, I think is ready to implement in in, in, in your website so this is all there is to it, and uh, I hope you find it. Um, I hope you found it useful, and uh, see you again in another stuckcast.